Let's see how we can install pip so we can install Python packages on Python 3.12. First, type Windows and type CMD. So if I type pip here, as you can see, it will show pip is not recognized as an internal or external command. And if I check my Python version, it is Python 3.12. So let's see how we can install pip on Python 3.12. First, go to your browser and go to this URL. I will have this in the description below. You can copy it from there. And if you go down here, you will see this link. Download the script from this thing link. So you right click on this link and click on save link as. And this link will be saved in uh, your desktop by default, I think, or wherever it is saved. So I'll just save it in desktop. And it is saved. So if I go here, as you can see, it is here now. So now what you need to do is you can just exit from this terminal. Now you need to open terminal or go to this directory wherever your get pip is installed. So one shortcut in Windows is hold shift and right click and click open PowerShell windows here or open command prompt window here, anything will work. So now, as you can see here, our PowerShell window is inside, we are inside this directory. So, uh, or you can just do CD and go to somewhere else that is wherever your get pip is installed. So you just follow the shortcut, hold shift and right click and click on open partial window here. And now you are inside desktop directory and the in desktop is where we have our getpip.py. So now what you need to do is just type Python, get pip, hit tab and it will be auto completed. And now you have something like this. And now you just hit enter. And now Python will download pip and install pip. As you can see, now it is saying install pip. Now if I check pip v, as you can see, it is still saying pip is not installed. That is because we have not added pip to our path yet. So what we need to do is, as you can see, it is showing r installed in this path, right? So what you need to do is copy the path and open your explorer and let's see if the path is copied here or not. Yes, it is copied. And if you go to this path, as you can see, pip3 is in this path, right? So I have the path copied. Now press Windows and type CMD, sorry, not CMD, environment variables. And click on environment variables, click on path and click edit. Go here, double click and paste the path. And now we have the path added. Click OK. Click OK again and click OK. And now we need to exit this and open command prompt again. And now if I type pip dash v, as you can see, it is saying pip 23.3.1 from this is the path where pip is installed. So now we have installed pip and we can install packages like pip install, let's say numpy. So this is how you can install packages after installing pip. Now if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.